Hey, this is Zia, and I know that the lighting pretty much sucks right now because it's too dark, but I'm still gonna open my Lord of D10. Uh, the mail came around, I don't know, 6 p.m. today, so just got this right now. Uh, still sealed, so just gonna open it for, for the hell of it. There we go. Now the packs, uh, two LOBs, uh, two Metal Raiders, a Magic Ruler, yeah, and of course the Secret Lord of D, which you can't really tell, and the tin. So I'm gonna start with the Magic Servant. I, when I was younger and when I was still in school when these first came out, yeah, I've never ever bought these. It was always like something I always wanted, but you know, when you're young you couldn't. So first pack, a cyber jar. Never really gonna go through the others. I'm pretty sure there's nothing really much in common and rare in the original sets. Let's get up to like on a couple sets later for uh, some good staple common and rares. So, uh, two Metal Raiders next. Uh, Prentice of something. A Trent. I know one person really likes Trent. Someone does. Ooh, a Seeker Rare Thousand Dragon. Which back then, if I pulled this ten years ago, it would be a pretty nice pull. Ten years ago. Ratio-wise, yeah, that's pretty great. And I cannot open this pack right now, since... I just can't. Oh, there we go. A... something warrior rare? If you see a fusion in LOB, it's either going to be a rare or I don't know, a secret, I think. I don't think there's an in-between rarity. Sort of want a LOB blue eyes. And last pack, uh, left leg of Forbidden One, so that's pretty cool. So, total pulls, these two, but pretty awesome pulls, so thanks for watching, and laters.